I fixed up the cabin. I got the moose jaw hung over here. I moved the table out so that it's in front, half in front of the window. That way it provides a little bit more light. It was such a dark hole over here. Let's see, got everything here hung up. I put the, the uh, drawing I did of the cabin over here. Let's see, what else? Not a whole lot else, actually. I just cleaned and tidied up a little bit. I'm about ready to head out. We're going to have an adventure on the way. I, I don't care if the memory card doesn't last long enough to get home. Uh, if the video ends out here, that's okay with me because this is what it's about for me. It's uh, about going out and seeing things and doing things and, and being part of the wild kind of, you know, getting it on us a little bit before I shove off for home. And then once I get home, I have a lot of stuff to address, a lot of cool things to do. I, uh, I feel like I've come out of this with some real personal growth. A large part of life is about acceptance and there are things I can't change, things I can't fix, uh, things in other people's worlds and lives that I can see coming and I'm, I'm powerless to help them ahead of time. All I can really do is try to be there when and if they decide that, that they might need me, you know? And until, until that happens, just keep doing what I do. I mean, my biggest mission in life is to be able to use what I learned while I was on TV, how to film and how to edit, uh, to, to give the tools that have helped me get out of the problems that haunted my life for so long. You know, fear, anxiety, uh, the, the, the difficulty of accepting things for what they are, life on life's terms, those kind of things. And so that's what I'm going to concentrate on. That and getting my truck running, getting my life put back together, you know, and being more present. I, like, like I said, I, I've been living in pause on a couple of things and that's no way to live, you know. One year will turn into two years and two years into four years and then issues won't be addressed and time has this way of keeping on going where life can hold still sometimes if that makes any sense that's what it seems like you know all right let's go have an adventure <laughs> That's the footprint of my dog, I. He passed away shortly before my dad. I was going to come up here and like have a bonfire and I was going to burn it like as a part of a uh, like, like funeral almost, you know? Instead though, I've decided that I'm gonna leave it here at the cabin. I'm thinking about nailing it up right here. I think that he would really like that. He, he was a good dog, a really, really good dog. He was basically a puppy his whole life. He never really grew up. He always had that, what's over there? Oh, let's go do this uh, kind of thing about him. Don't get me wrong. He had his moments of being serious. He could be serious. And then he was like, he was like this, this fluff ball filled with razor blades, you know, just a mouthful of razor blades. <laughs> He was such a good dog. I miss him. I miss my dad, too. <sighs> Who's to you, Mr. Cupcake?
lost the mine just a little while ago. Up there's where we're going. If you can see those cliffy areas there through the trees, that old riverbed runs up that direction. We're gonna get down to there, drop my backpack and the snowshoes, and then we're gonna head up that way and check it out, see what it's like. Might try and find an easier way up, depending on how steep it is. We'll just play it by ear. We'll come into the riverbed down here at the bottom of this hill. You can see it there, that gorge kind of, or valley. As I've been looking at it, I don't know if it wouldn't be a better idea to just cut off right here and head up. See the cliffs? I could almost swear I see a cave in there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the backpack and the, uh, the snowshoe sled here and cut along. We'll just switch back up through these animal trails. That way it isn't a straight hike up. Walking straight up is, it's a lot, it's killer. Okay, let's do it. brushy area. It's a good ambush spot. I think we're gonna cut around through this like walkway by this rock cliff or rock wall. See if we can't double back.
Okay, getting closer to it, it doesn't look like a cave at all. It looks like a large pointed boulder is hanging out over the eye, uh, the cliff, and that's causing a very dark shadow underneath it. We're gonna keep heading up that way. I really like this one spot here that looks like the way all those layers of rock are one on top of the other. It almost looks like, like masonry work or something. It isn't, it's a natural formation. It's neat though the way it looks like that. I always liked like I uh, early Paleolithic and, and like Neanderthal early humans because the caves and stuff that they inhabited they were like natural uh, natural like castles or, or fortifications made right out of the rock and they just inhabited it and made it theirs. That's what a lot of these rock cliffs and, and high touring with the areas really remind me of. It's so cool. When we leave, we might go that way. Because it'll switch back and drop back down to the road, and then we can catch up to the backpack. So I'm going to keep going this way and see what it looks like up there. Isn't this fun? It's such an adventure. I grew up with the old video games and stuff, and some of my favorite ones were where the creators of the video game took and made all these cool different looking places and stuff and you can go through and explore them and that's really what I like to do. I, I, I really like to explore and just see things. It's so beautiful. It's really what I needed to put my headspace right, right, you know? We can only control what we can control. Life is what it is and things happen and what's important is to never give up and never surrender and keep moving forward. It's always spooky when it cuts in like this. We're going that way. I wanna check this out. And this is a well-walked trail too. Okay, there's a way to go up and through this brushy area to get on top. Right now we're basically on the bottom of like, like the castle walls almost. I don't want to go through that brushy area. That looks like an ambush. 
So I'm going to go back out and around. And we'll just go straight up it in that one area that I showed you before. If we had more time, I'd cut up this way and see if there isn't a longer way to get around. I don't really want to be tooling up around there right now. I think I'd use up a lot of time. So we're going to go back and cut straight up it. You know, I'd almost just think we could just go right straight up that, actually, as I'm looking at it. That doesn't look bad. Get right to the top of it. It's steep. That's what I think we're going to do, though. The footing looks good. Just be careful for uh, loose rocks. <laughs> this is so much fun. I hope you all guys are having fun. This is what I like to do. Okay, let's head up. Here we are. I don't know if I ever told you I don't like heights. I don't think we're gonna go back the same way we came. Let's get to the top, look for a animal trail that switches back and drops back down. Take it in though, this is the beauty of it. Little plateaus. See, it's just like a, a naturally built castle, kind of. I always take notice of my surroundings. Look at this big rock, it's been pulled out from here. Not so bad up here, just stay away from the ledges. Here's another rock, been pulled out of the ground. Kind of the same coloration as that other one. Looks like this could be a big table, kind of. Okay, that's neat. It's a piece of uh, quartz crystal set up on top of this larger rock. I wonder if somebody was trying to mark a trail or something to get back to, maybe.
here we got some kind of structures here. Some kind of concrete blocks. This might have been our mine. Some kind of posting in here. More structures in there. All right, there's our way down. This animal trail right there will go down nice and easy. Somebody had something built here a long time ago. It just keeps going up. Okay, I only have 35% battery left. That's gonna drop real quick. I think I'll save the rest of what I have to, uh, for the journey home. This has been a lot of fun. This has been really neat. And there's so much more to see. Already I wanna go over and look at this rock cliff. See the way that there's that cut in it kind of, those two boulders have separated and there's that gap in between. I'd really like to see what that looks like. Keep on going. We don't have time though. So it's time to go home. Thanks for coming out on these adventures with me. It's really nice. had to cut way around where I was and I found this it's a vertical shaft see all that or like white and orange and yellow down there that's a solid vein of quartz crystal and on this side I can see where it's scraped over here that's quartz too see the white up in there so there are flakes of gold inside that quartz and what they do is they dig that out of there blast it out and then they put it through a crusher that crushes it down finer and finer and then they they put that through like a sluice and uh and that's where they get their gold that's hard rock mining basically few of my friends they come up and gather uh, the tailings and stuff that haven't been worked because they don't have any hard uh, what is it it's that toxic like hard metals and stuff in them and then they take them back home and crush them and pan out the gold I think that might be something I'm into that's so cool because that's not even tailings that's never been worked okay time to keep going home I 
wasn't really sure where I was or why I should start just dropping straight down. And now look, do you recognize? This is the monument area. The big rock. Okay. So instead of going back down the trail, which would lead down to the, the mine, we're just gonna drop down this way and keep going. So good, so cool. Isn't this a cool spot? It's neater from the bottom looking up. It has these plateaus. And somebody set this, this piece of quartz crystal here. And some more up on like this shelf. So cool. Okay, I know exactly where we are. Went back a little further than I thought I was. I'm gonna have to stop recording pretty soon uh, until I get back to the backpack and get to recharge. Look at it, isn't this cool? Okay, so we'll pass the rock walls on the left and I'll switch back. Instead of switching back, I'm just gonna drop straight down the hill, meet back up with the backpack. What a good day, what a good trip. Life on life's terms, I like it. gonna keep on moseying once I hit the second cell phone spot down here which is a ways away I'll give the cowboy a call check in with him let him know I'm on my way back home then we need to swing by the legends I I've got some stuff stowed there I'm gonna come back up in a couple weeks to get uh, however I really want to get my jacket my green jacket it's really important to me I really want it right now so I get to visit with him for a minute uh, I'll get my Batteries time to charge. I get my jacket. Uh, and then we'll keep on walking home.
Okay, I ran to the legend after I got down past our turn and uh, he was out on his four-wheeler, so he gave me a ride back up to his place. We're gonna grab all my gear that I had left here and then he's gonna give me a ride back home. He said that'll save me, you know, a little bit of time. I'll be able to uh, get a nice hot meal. Oh, and that's gonna be so good. There's my jacket. This is my Road Wanderer jacket. I, uh, my second little brother gave this to me a couple months before I went to Betty Ford. It's really all that I have left of my old world. And it's funny because he's always been a Road Wanderer too. And you made it. Ha ha! Sweet home. Ha! Ah, get some food. There's a couple things I need to clean up. Ah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was a really good adventure. I very much enjoyed that. It's good to be able to work through things. It's good to be able to share with y'all guys. I. Uh, I find it very healing, very, very healthy. It's at times uh, difficult to be so vulnerable and so open and honest about everything. However, in the end, it always feels good uh, because it's like having company and also having a way to work things out for myself, with myself, you know? Okay, I'm gonna get a shave, get some food. I'm starving. When I was in the truck on the way back, I I started naming off everything I wanted for food tonight. It seems like I always do that whenever I come home. Okay, never give up, never surrender. As always, God and Jesus bless us all. No. <laughs> So good! Ah, uh, while I was gone, the boss lady brought me milk and chocolate milk. I'm so embarrassed that she saw how dirty the refrigerator is. Uh, I was going to clean it before I left and then I just shoved off. I'll take care of this later. It's going to be good. It's already good. That's so neat!